Well, Mike Kelly, tomorrow the West Mifflin Council will vote on whether to condemn Century 3, 10 years after Moonbeam Capital of Las Vegas bought the mall and promised to improve it. Action News investigates learned Moonbeam has made similar promises in other communities with similar results. This is the former shopping town mall in DeWitt, New York, outside Syracuse. Moonbeam Capital bought Shopping Town the same year it bought Century 3. The company discussed its plans with DeWitt officials. All we were looking for is some kind of assurance that something was going to happen. But nothing did happen, despite Moonbeam's assurances that it had potential tenants. There never was an organization or a, a company that we could talk to and verify that they had a legitimate tenant. Local communities sued Moonbeam for failure to pay millions in taxes, forcing Moonbeam CEO Stephen Maxson to testify in court. Finally, in 2020, Onondaga County bought the mall for $3.5 million and agreed to waive $10 million in back taxes. Moonbeam made similar promises after taking over the Burlington Center Mall in New Jersey, even hosting a presentation in 2014 with drawings of the mall's proposed makeover. But Moonbeam abandoned those plans, closing the mall in 2018 and selling it a year later, after which it was demolished. In a statement, Moonbeam's chief operating officer says the company remains a co-developer of the Burlington Center Mall project, which is costing more than $100 million. As for Shopping Town, Moonbeam says DeWitt refused to lower the tax assessment and the mall's overassessment prevented Moonbeam's redevelopment of the mall. They've all gone to the same situation, promises made, nothing's happened. West Mifflin Council member Dan Davis worries he's seeing the same pattern with Century 3 that played out in New York, New Jersey, and elsewhere. What's the hurry to sell it? The longer it sits, you hope, you know, they can get a better return. 43 coming in, maybe that helps them, maybe it doesn't, but it holds us hostage. We're losing tax revenue. It's also costing West Mifflin by forcing stepped up patrols at the mall to deal with trespassers like the group who made this video and were subsequently arrested. People living near the rundown mall are also worried. We live less than a mile away, and I'm afraid for our kids when they're playing outside. You don't know who's around because of the squatters that are resi residing in Century 3 Mall. Earlier this month, a judge ordered a Moonbeam subsidiary to pay West Mifflin $240,000 in code enforcement fines, including $80,000 from 2018 that still has not been paid. West Mifflin officials say they have studied carefully what Moonbeam did in other communities. We'll take what we learned and follow up with the law and do what we have to do. Moonbeam's chief operating officer tells me the company is currently meeting with, quote, a few national real estate players to bring the same level of success to Century 3 that they've brought elsewhere. Reporting live in West Mifflin, Paul Van Osdall, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.